same size down here. It's it's just an odd configuration because it's long and skinny. Head out to Cripple Creek. It's my buddy's birthday. Hey, we're gonna have lunch, and that's what I'm doing today. Just supporting my buddy and. I'm um, going to enjoy some scenery. Should be a nice day. It's beautiful out. Uh, it's snowing up on the mountains on pikes, but uh, right now it's slightly overcast, but we got a lot of blue sky. And it's Kevin. Happy birthday, Kevin. Yeah, this gets slicker than snot. This is this would be several days maybe. You could how much snow? Willem Park gets a fair amount of snow. It does, yeah. Look over <laughs> here. Hi Milo. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. This is what is that beast? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Right. Favorite daytime place. He has to work every day. What's his Facebook? Um it's actually Milo Morrison. Oh, oh, more is this, is this a okay. Because when, when he first got here, he just wanted the page from day one. So for the first year, he posts every day. Oh, that's wonderful. Now it's most days. Yeah, yeah, I was, that's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, even for a cat. <laughs> it is. Especially without the no, no opposable thumbs. That makes yeah, it. Yeah, really well, I, I have to help him a little, but. Yeah. So are these are these all rooms that you made? No, nope, we collected all those. Oh, so that's their room collection. So she, she yeah. said they sell everything that they make, so they don't get to keep it. Yep. Where do you get your broom material? Just local or? It's broom corn. Oh, it's it's broom a sorghum. Corn. Sorghum. Mm -hmm. It's mean just. It's grown just to make brooms. Um, the last place you can buy it now is out of Texas. Oh. We have chased it all over the country. This printing press. So I didn't realize it had all this. Yeah, all this, all these cards were printed on this press. Oh, nice. And how old is that press? Built in 1894. Oh my god. It's gosh. a treadle letter press. You get it going on the flywheel. Uh huh. And take a whole lot of input from your foot to keep it going. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, the principle of how it works, you have an ink plate and you random dots of ink. Uh-huh. You have three rollers that go across here. So as the press is running, your rollers are running across the ink plate. Uh-huh. And the ink plate will move. Then the rollers come back up. And the ink plate will move. And that's how you mix the ink. And so does it actually print? Is it yeah. is printing material on yeah. that then? Yeah. So okay. Your type cut. Uh-huh. Whatever goes in here inside the chase. So the process is you've already inked your press up and then you go down across your type form. Uh -huh. It comes back up across the type form and when it comes together, it prints. So you put your card in, inks, inks again, prints. Take your card out, put your next card in. Just keep going. Oh, how neat. And 
And do you uh, are you able to use different colors of ink? Because I noticed. Yeah. yeah. Just whatever color ink you put on the press is what you're printing with. If you want to do two colors, it's two different days. You have to dry in between. Right. Right. Some of these are two colors. Some are three color. Take that many different times to do it. How long does it take you to make a broom from start to finish? Well, once we're set up and making it, like now, uh -huh. at least an hour. An hour? Mm -hmm. I wind it, he stitches them. And then I can tell you're very selective on what... Um... Yes, I don't put junk in my brooms. Everybody else puts on what they call insides, which is crappy stuff. Mm -hmm. We put the best broom corn for the entire room. And you said that was from Texas. What part of Texas is that? Well, it's, it's coming out of um, San Antonio. Oh, okay. They import it from Mexico. You want to get her to see this here? This is where she puts on the stick. Sam makes the handles out of dowels, which are hard to get, especially during COVID. And then the wire is on the roll here, uh -huh. wraps around here, it's tensioned here. Mm -hmm. So you want it as tight as you can get it. This is perfect. <laughs> well, broom corn is a sorghum, it just looks like a corn plant. Instead of the tassel at the top, you get the brush. So is that the only thing that they get out of that plant, is just that? Yeah. There's, it's not, there's no get, seed or anything that they use? That's what you get out of one plant. Thresh out the seed and then you have the fiber. Uh-huh. Yep, that's all you use it for. When I was going back through the uh, history of my hometown, uh, I found in 1875 they had a broom factory. They made brooms mm -hmm. in, uh, yeah, let's go to Kansas, up the north of Kansas. Most towns did. Denver had them, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. Yeah. They all start out round. These are going to be the grandma's kitchen broom, the one in the center this over there. This one here? One right next to him. Oh, okay. That size. So that's the broom that that's, she's actually making. Okay. Whenever I stop talking and start thinking, that's what I hear. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh my oh, God. Really? Yeah. Oh. yeah. We got a deer problem too. They'd rather be here than in the woods. Go go with your mom, you know. Of course, the mouse. <laughs> you know, do deer things. It, it was unusable, but I took it apart and made another part exactly the one I took out. Made sure oh, each okay. Every, well, the original guy has had a quarter-inch error, but it was so racked you couldn't tell it. I had to rework part of it. Okay. The only thing smaller is the top. I put on a smaller top. They had a bigger top. But we were going to haul this to shows and I didn't need a bigger top. It would be in the way. Mm -hmm. I have a different gallery rail on than what they had. They had a higher one. They're upside down shoulders. So you get width without a whole lot of more weight. So what do you, do you have to do the th like the, the thread thing, is that done manually? Yeah, that's, that's over here on this. That's oh, okay, okay. She's still winding the room. This is still the inside of the room. Yeah. The rooms are flat and this spreads them out flat-wise. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. rooms are all round. Mm -hmm. They don't sleep so good. Not room sleep better than A candle shop and candle shops. They had uh, they had guys doing uh, glass work, uh -huh. glass blowers. Um, what else did they have? 
at candy food yeah. people there too, uh, confectionery. Well, that's what it all started out at, but I think it evolved into an amusement park with several. Well, that's where the money is. Roller coaster town. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Now, I knew some people that actually worked there who were looking around the corner. He says he asked about down there. Uh, get your candles all from the same company. We make them. Oh, you make them yourself? Oh, okay. Okay. You get the Rockies bikes out of the San Luis Valley. Keep them with their overhead is the. I don't know, 2,000 pounds. How many uh, people do they work there? Five and six hundred. Huh. They pay reasonably good once you get out. Are they um, uh, unionized? Uh -huh. I had a guy who squawked about a union some years ago and he disappeared. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Probably not being stupid. Uh, yeah. If it's not tight, it would oh. make it round. It's a double ended needle, threads in the middle. So is this where you do the, so the stitching? The stitching. I have these steel plates so I can pull it through and easier to so I can hang on to it. Uh-huh. It's rather repetitive once you get going here. There's four rows and they all look just the same, so if you don't get it the first time, you've got plenty of chances. A little chance to make up for it. Yeah. <laughs> two two wraps around. There's very few people that actually make a real broom like this. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a dozen or so of us in the U.S. Flies get in the corner of the window and it's... Yeah, it says fly swatter what there. <clears throat> I decided to finally start growing plants again because I, I love gardens and plants and now I have those little gnats, those little tiny uh -huh. dirt, dirt gnats and whatever and they're... Mm -hmm. oh, they are prolific. I, I both love them and hate them. Yeah. I didn't mind them so much until they started biting. And I was like, okay, this is, we're done. That's <laughs> <laughs> row one then. I just decided to go into the wine business. Oh, all right. <laughs> now, uh, are you folks from Colorado originally? Well, I grew up in Wheat Ridge, which is a suburb of Denver. Uh-huh. Since I was five. Yeah, they don't put anything in the 